Welcome to a fun video. We have a box of quarters to go through and we're going to see if I can hunt these or not. And yes, I can hunt these. It's a shame. I would love to open up a box and see all these rolls being silver. It's never going to happen, but you know, one good dream. Anyhow, let's get into this box and see if there's anything really cool on the inside. Intro, take 473. Cue music. <laughs> coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Roll number one. We've got a Homestead 2015. This one has doubling in one of the windows here. That's pretty cool. This one is really dirty and nasty, but uh, yeah. There's always a bunch of stuff to look for on these and always a fun find. Roll number seven. I've come across the S Men and Quarter. This is a not intended for circulation business strike. San Francisco Mini Quarter. This one is Harper's Ferry. Nice. Very cool. Let me put it up here. Okay, roll number eight. Final coin. We got another homestead. This one has a die chip on the bottom of the bucket. This one is referred to as a leaky bucket because it looks like there's water. At the bottom of the bucket. So there we go. Roll number nine. And I going through, come across this uh, 2012 Choco Culture here. And this is another San Francisco business strike coin there. Cool. That's our second one of those. Nice. That one's a bit more rougher shape, but uh, hey, it's still a cool find. Roll number 15. And we've got a really cool find here. 2019 San Antonio Missions. When I flip this one over, we have a W Mint Mark. That is a West Point. Nice. That is cool. You can still find these in circulation. Finding them on occasion, not as much as they used to. Um, but they made two million of each reverse um, for uh, 2019 and 2020 and dumped them all in circulation. So that's the only way you could get these was circulation. So cool. Awesome to be able to still find them, and uh, that is so far the best hit in my opinion. Roll 16, we got another fun double die find here, doubling on the window here on this homestead 2015. Again, another rough one, but that still counts as a double die find. That was our second homestead in rough condition with a double die. Roll 26, and I've hit another find here. This is the 2021 Washington Crossing to Delaware. And right in front of Washington's face there, if I can catch it in the light, you can see the die clash there. Um, it looks like just a bigger nose that's on the coin there almost. But there is uh, some stronger and weaker die clashes on these. Um, this one is in pretty nice shape for being three years old, so that's always cool when you find a nice one with, uh, with an air on it. Roll 27, and we've got our third homestead with doubling in the windows. This one is a bit more harder to see in the windows here. Um, so I'll try to get a good picture of it. But that is our third one. This is probably the nicest one I've got this hunt. Roll number 30, and I've come across one I've never found before. This is a 2022, and if you look right here at the year, there is a die clash right here. There's a little bit of clash there but it's mostly right here. Looks like there's a clashes up through here as well. Um, so this is on a uh, Wilma Man Killer. So this is new for me. I think the die clash area is here. And then I don't know where the other die clash is, but if we look here, I can't get it. Maybe I can get it. There you go. You see the little line there? I think that's a very weak die clash on the reverse as well. It's kind of what it looks like. Uh, maybe the other die clash is this point. I'm not 100% sure what exactly is clash, but that is definitely a die clash. Really cool. That is a really cool find. We made it to roll 31, and we got a pretty cool find here on this 2021 Washington Cross into Delaware. There's a nice size strike through right here. There's some grease that got on the dies, and uh, as the feeder fingers was pushing it around it left streaks of grease and uh, you can see the deep impressions there of the grease 
that's pretty cool pretty cool little find that uh, is officially called a field restricted strike through but that is cool we'll just set it here with that other one we're still on roll 31 and i've come across another west point how about that this one is a little rough a little rough these are getting pretty circulated this is a san antonio missions cool that is another West Point. No, pretty cool find. Find a West Point still. Two in this box. That's pretty awesome. All right. Well, it's time to wrap up here. This is all the finds we ended up with. Um, not a bad haul. Uh, half found more, half found less. But we got some really cool stuff here. We hit two West Points, and that's really cool. And they both ended up being San Antonio missions, which is interesting. Um, <laughs> we had the Wilma, Wilma Mankiller. Yeah, Wilma Mankiller with the uh, die clash here, which is interesting. I've never found any uh, any of those before. Um, we had the homestead with the leaky bucket die chip here at the bottom of the bucket. Um, ended up with three homesteads with uh, doubling in the windows. So those are three double dice there. Um, two uh, 2021s, this one has the die clash in front of Washington's face here. And this one has the grease strike through um, the official term for this kind of grease strike through is a filled restricted strike through and then we had two san francisco business strike quarters as well so some really cool stuff here um all right well i do hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that thumbs up helps me out drop a comment down below and let me know what you thought thank you very much for watching everyone have a great day and i want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you click on that link right there, it'll help me out. And then I have a couple videos over here that is recommended. So if you would like to watch another one, I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.